Well, good evening. I'm Pastor Kevin Lindley, and this is the Holy Spirit Chronicles, part 71. It's Friday night. It's July 3rd, the day before the 4th of July. And as I'm speaking, the fireworks are going on out here in the neighborhood. So we'll see um, how how well we'll get through that before all the popping starts again. Anyways, um, let's get started. I start off tonight with a throne, a scroll, a lamb, harps, and a bowl of incense. Revelation 5-7, the New King James Version. Then he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Now we know that he was the Lamb of God that took the, the scroll out of the right hand of the Father. Jesus took the scroll out of the right hand of the Father. And then in Revelation 5-8 it says, And now... He had taken the scroll, the four living creatures, and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a harp and a golden bowl of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. This is the first time John mentions these two props. The four living creatures and the 24 elders have on their persons. These two props, a harp, a golden bowl of incense, have significant purpose and are not just symbolic. Harps. Harps in the ancient Near East were always present in every celebration, wedding, any kind of a housewarming, anything where people were celebrating men and women coming of age, and the praise and worship of other deities was also accompanied with harps. It makes sense that the four living creatures who lead the worship around the throne would have harps. So also the 24 elders were part of that worship team. The Jews were pro prolific worshipers. With the use of harps, David, King David, mastered the harp at an early age and later would fill the temple with worship with the sound of the harp. In 2 Samuel 6, 5, the Holman Christian Standard Bible says, David and the whole house of Israel were celebrating before the Lord with all kinds of fir wood instruments, with lyres and harps, and tambourines and sistrums and cymbals. In Psalms 33, 2, it says, Praise the Lord with the lyre. Make music to him with the ten-stringed harp. In Psalms 144, 9, it says, God, I will sing a new song to you. I will play on the ten-stringed harp for you. Harps were also used to calm evil spirits, driving them away, as illustrated by David playing before King Saul. See 1 Samuel 16, verses 13 through 19. In 1 Samuel 16, 23, it says, Whenever the Spirit from the Whenever the Spirit from God, a troubling spirit, was set on Saul, David would pick up his lyre and play. And Saul would then be relieved and feel better, and the evil spirit would leave him. Now, the lyre was very similar to a harp. They were basically the same family of instrument. The reason playing a harp drives evil spirits away is because that same music from the harp attracts the Holy Spirit, and unclean spirits can't stand be around God. Another example of the Holy Spirit being attracted to worship music with the harp is Elisha. Elisha, 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 I'm sorry. Elisha the prophet used the talent of a musician to attract the Holy Spirit so he could give the word of the Lord prophetically to the three kings, King Jehoshaphat of Judah, King Joram of Israel, and the king of Edom. Here's the scripture in 2 Kings 3, 15-16. Now, get me a musician. As the musician played his harp, the power of the Lord came upon Elisha, and he said, This is what the Lord says. Dig ditches all over this dry stream bed. You see, it was common practice that the shepherds also used harps to calm the sheep. Harps have a calming effect on people and animals, as well as demonic spirits driving them away. David would use the harp to calm his sheep at night before the night would fall. David may have been the first one who started this practice of playing the harp to calm sheep, but he was shepherding. 
The golden bowls of incense. Here's the second item, the second prop that we see. The golden bowl of incense in verse 8 are literally the prayers, petitions, requests, supplications of believers like you and me. God will not let one prayer fall to the ground, but rather he treasures our petitions and requests as opportunities to draw into deeper relationship with us. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit know the substance of every prayer before they are stored in these golden bowls of incense that are held by the 24 elders. I'll be back on Monday. I'm Pastor Kevin Lindley with the Holy Spirit Chronicles, and we'll see you on Monday. God bless.